Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. Today we're going to take this clock and that I found at the dump, I think, um, in the free store, and I'm going to redo it into a farmhouse sign. The middle part's metal, the uh, hands and everything are all gone, it's all missing. Um, but I really like the frame of this, and it's inset a little bit. So I thought it would make a cute little farmhouse sign, so we're going to see what we can do with it. I'm using my Waverly chalk paint in white. I'm going to cover it all over and I'm going to do two coats on this. It's going to take two coats to get it all covered nicely. There's lots of cracks and crevices that need to be covered, so that's what I end up doing. Two coats with that. I'm using the hair dryer to speed things up a little bit so that I can get on with the sanding which is what I'm doing here. I'm just lightly sanding. I have my block, my sanding block. One side is 120 and the other side is 180 grit. I'm using the 120 grit. And I'm just going over the edges and sanding down any high spots of the chalk paint and a little bit in the middle just to to get rid of some of the paint. On here I'm using my Waverly uh, clear wax and I'm going to go over the whole thing with that. I am going to go over it with antiquing wax as well but I didn't want it all covered in antique wax. I wanted just where I want it. So I thought if I put this clear wax on, I'd be able to wipe off what I didn't want of the antiquing wax. So we'll see if it works. Does anybody remember this cute little rooster I got from my Goodwill find from my haul? He um, isn't going to match my decor, so I want to give him a little sprucing up. So this is Waverly Chalk Paint in Mineral, and I'm going to cover him with two coats of this, get it all over, because I'm going to go back on with some white paint, chalk paint, and then I'm going to distress it back, and I don't want it back to the full blue. I don't mind if there's a little bit, but I really would rather have some of that mineral coming through. So this covered really nicely. It's a nice shiny surface on the rooster, but it still stuck down really well. And of course I used my hair dryer and dried him a little bit so that I could get the second coat put on. this while my white or clear wax um, dries on my sign and I want to give it a little I did hit it with the hair dryer and kind of dry it a little bit but I want to give it a good proper time to dry uh, fully So here I'm using my antiquing wax now um, from Waverly and I'm just taking a brush and, and just lightly dry brushing the wax on there. Because I have the clear wax on I know it's been sealed 
Now this is going to give me my antiquing look that I want to match the sign that I'm going to put in it. Um, and so I think just brushing this on and giving it a few darker spots is going to just give it a, some good dimension. And then I did around the outside on the frame part. Um, I also went over it with um, a sanding block just a little bit just to sand it, sand down some of the darker spots. But I think it came out really good. Looks good and antique. my sign guys this is wallpaper border that I ordered either off from Amazon or off from um, discount wallpaper.com or something like that I'll try to find it and put it in the description below I'll put a link um, and so I'm gonna cut this piece out where's this farmhouse and put that in the middle so what I did was I cut it fit it just right and then I went and ran it under water folded it over onto itself so the two uh, sticky parts uh, were together and I just left it there for like a minute and then stuck it down so while that dried I finished painting my little rooster he got a coat just one coat of the Waverly white chalk paint and you get that all over and then I went around with my uh, sanding block the 120 side and just kind of scuffed him up a little bit it does go down to the shiny somewhat um, but you kind of get a little bit of a, a hint of the mineral paint that I put in there as well so you kind of get all three parts of it which makes it really cool um, and then of course that wasn't enough for me so I wanted to have him match my sign a little bit because he's gonna go with my sign um, so I did take my dry brush of antique wax and I just brushed it over on him just light brushing just like I did with the sign and I think it really made um, him pop all of his little feathers and and um, everything on him it just made him pop and I think it really came out so so cute I love it get to the big reveal I want to thank the domestic diva for hosting this challenge farmhouse DIY there'll be a link to her channel and to the playlist of other people that will have joined in this challenge below in the description now for the big reveal are you guys ready here it is So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me churn this clock into a farmhouse sign and my cute little rooster to match. Uh, I think it came out so cute. Let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.